to another edition of Weird Science Wednesdays. I'm Mr. B, and uh, I'm the fifth grade science and social studies teacher up in the learning lab on the second floor. Um, a couple days ago on Halloween, we experienced some pretty scary things in the lab. I don't know if your classroom did, but we kind of think that maybe there was a ghost in the lab um, floating around and making weird noises. But um, well, I don't know. You, you check the video footage and you let me know what you think. Well, as you can see, there was a ghost, but it wasn't a haunting. It was actually a, a science experiment about static electricity. With this simple experiment, all you need is a pair of scissors, a marker, a, a piece of tissue paper, and a balloon. And then you simply cut out a ghost, draw on a face, and blow up your balloon. And then you rub the balloon on your hair to create a static buildup. You'll notice when you do have the electrical charge because your hair will stick to the balloon. Then at that point, you take the balloon and you put it directly over your tissue paper ghost. And the ghost will then rise up because of the electrical charge, the static electricity, and appear to be floating. As the weather's changing, you're going to notice that as you draw your feet across the carpet or you're walking from class to class, um, you're gonna feel like a tingling sensation. Um, or when you reach out to grab the door handle, you may even experience a shock. That's because of static electricity. Static electricity often happens when you rub things together. If you rub the balloon against your hair, and then you'll find that the balloon sticks to you. This happens because rubbing the balloon gives it an electrical charge, or a small amount of electricity. The charge makes it stick to the tissue paper ghost like a magnet, because the ghost gains an opposite electric charge. So your ghost and the balloon attract one another like the opposite ends of two magnets. Have you ever walked across a nylon rug or a carpet and felt a slight tingling sensation? Your body gradually builds up an electric charge, which is the tingling you can sense. When you touch the metal, the charge runs instantly to earth. And that's the shock you feel. Just like the static electricity caused the tissue paper goes to rise up and appear to be floating, we have that same effect on people. We have the power, we have the energy to either help people rise up or push them down. That choice is ours, but either way, it's science. 